Hey there, Canvas Leads. Thank you so, so much for your time and ener energy. I just want to run through what a Canvas day looks like. So first, what you're going to do a few days ahead of time is reach out to your friends and family and reach out to the volunteers that we've identified on Nation Builder. And we're going to uh, set the time and place. So the best way to set a time and place is think about the place in your community where people are walking by, people are uh, shopping, that sort of thing. So we like to meet at a coffee shop and then just go out main streeting and, and canvas for a couple of hours with your crew. So you'll set the time and place. Do You can certainly send emails to people, but it's much better to also follow up with a phone call. One thing that you'll notice is that people don't always show up for their Canvas shift, but you can, you can imagine why. You're busy, you're doing this volunteer work, you know that sometimes you're pressed for time, so you have to water off a duck's back the fact that you're not going to get everyone to actually show up for their shift. So over schedule, schedule 10 to 12 people if you can, and maybe 4 to 6 people will come. So you'll start off with a half hour briefing and check in, then you'll have a couple of hours of canvassing and then another half hour of debrief. That first half hour is really, really fantastic for team building. So what you'll do, or how I really like to start a canvas day, is do a round. You want to know who is in the room and who is and why they're supporting this campaign, why they're taking an afternoon or an evening of their time and coming out for this. It's always so inspiring for me to hear people's stories of why they think decriminalizing marijuana is important. And so that's how I start. Everybody just introduce themselves and you get to know each other and why you feel passionate about this campaign. Uh, so that's a great start. Then you want to get into the nuts and bolts of the campaign and have and, and either we can call in for your first Canvas Day if you like and have uh, us as a resource to be able to answer any questions that you have. If you're comfortable just running the Canvas Day on your own, awesome. That's fantastic. Um, so you'll go through those nuts and bolts of the campaign, answer any questions that anyone has, and then do a couple of practice wraps. Normally what I what I encourage people to do is to just do a very short, are you interested in decriminalizing marijuana and then get people signing the form. Um, people often when they start canvassing, they feel that they have to give a big explanation. No, that doesn't, that, that doesn't work that well actually. It tires people out and now they have to walk away and think about it. So the simple question is, are you interested in decriminalizing marijuana, yes or no? We're not trying to move people's minds, we're just trying to identify the 70 to 80 percent of people that support decriminalizing marijuana in BC. So that's how, you know, that's how we kind of start that. And once all everyone's questions are answered, now you just move out into, into wherever you're going you're gonna to campus and just test some areas out. Um, one of the things that's really fantastic is is uh, just smile. Be really present. Uh, people respond to what you are putting out there and so your job as a canvasser and a canvas and a canvas lead is to inspire your people to be able to just connect with people and allow, you know, not everyone is going to be into it and they're going to give you a look. Don't take it personally. Just carry on. People are really appreciative of of you and your team being out there. Um, do take a turn with each of your canvassers, pair people up to start, they can spread out if they like, um, but really it's about uh, people learning from one another because, you know, while ever it, it is about just communicating and, and communicating the campaign, everybody has their own particular way and every time I've heard someone describe a canvas experience, I've learned something. So it's good to switch those people, switch those pairs up, switch those people up, and be able to uh, really skill share as a group. So once you've, once you've done your couple of hours of canvassing, you want to come back to the coffee shop and do a debrief. That's really rich. People have had all of these different experiences out there, 
and it's uh, it's it's really amazing to be able to to hear those stories and to be inspired by how people have responded to you know hold space for people who have who might have had a bad experience or two and to be able to you know bond as a group because Kemsing is a group sport and it really is about us together figuring out how we're going to make this this refer referendum happen. So that's a canvas day. Thank you so so much for your hard work out there. Um, we're with you and we're really really appreciative of all that you do. So high five everyone before you go. That's a fantastic way to end a canvas shift and yeah awesome.